there's a way to make an entrance. <laughs> My destiny. It was now a conspiracy of witches. Download Veely today. Tonight on the House of Tiny Tearaways. You don't use violence. <laughs> Thank you for saving me, my daughter. How can me to save a relationship because without you, it could have gone so wrong. After five days of high emotion and hard work, the journey for this week's three families is nearing its end. As they prepare for their futures away from Tanya in the house of tiny tearaways, have they learnt enough to leave their parenting problems in the past? Three desperate families, each overwhelmed by parenting problems that have turned their toddlers into tearaways. I said no! They're going to be living here for just six days in the hope that they can turn their lives around. The person they're looking to for the answers is clinical psychologist Dr Tanya Byron. Working with three families in such an intense environment is unlike anything I've ever done professionally before and it is a huge challenge. I'm working with the parents, I'm working with their children and I'm building a community. It's a tough job to do in a very, very short space of time. And for the families selected to be part of this programme, this is make or break. This is the house of tiny tearaways. The families are preparing their final breakfast, but Maisie and Taylor Moritz seem more interested in the basket of chocolates. Each child is allowed just one a day, and this has been testing the parents' disciplinary resolve all week. Why do you have to do this every morning? Right, away from the chocolate. Come on, all of you. Don't push. Oh, Sole oh, parent oh. Nina Morritt was desperate for help with her two and a half year old daughter Taylor. It does all... Their relationship was at breaking point when she entered the house. Get off of me, Taylor! <laughs> and was even considering really? putting You're her into so care. Yeah. I just, I don't want to, but it is that bad. Boo, Tony has worked intensively with Nina to Good help night, her parent baby. more positively Mommy and consistently. <laughs> and throughout the week, their mother and daughter bond has grown. They've also worked on the girls' bedtimes, getting them to settle and sleep in their own beds, with no drinks throughout the night. Go on, listen, eat all the chocolate. Go on, you're not going to get that attention for doing it. But if you do eat all the chocolate, you will be on the naughty chair for an hour. <laughs> Facing that wall. Easy, no. No. Oh. You don't use violence. Now say sorry to Ethan. Say sorry. Sorry. Say sorry, big brother. Give him a kiss. Give mum, serve some breakfast. Yeah, that's chocolate. <laughs> Simon and Sasha Woods have given son Ethan strawberries and croissant for breakfast, two things he's never eaten before. I put lots of strawberries. Have you had a strawberry, Ethan? Yeah. Let Daddy see. You no, know, let Daddy see you eat one. He did put his teeth on it. Oh, John! When four-year-old Ethan Woods arrived at the house of Tiny Tearaways, his diet mainly consisted of yogurts and some sloppy foods. 
He also refused to bite or chew. You do it. Huge breakthroughs have been made over the week, with Ethan deck. trying a range of completely new foods, right including Pizza, chicken pie, Scotland, chips, yeah, gravy, pizza and sweet corn. <gasps> They've also worked on Ethan's erratic sleeping pattern by using the rapid return technique and saw great success last night, with Ethan settling himself after only one minute. Dad Simon has been going to work all week, mirroring their life at home, but today he's taken the day off in a last push to help Ethan before they leave. Following his success with the strawberry and with minimal attention from his parents, Ethan attempts to eat the croissant. Right there. Are you having some more croissant? He has done something. Oh, you have. You've bitten some, haven't you? I've got two. Right, have one bite for Daddy and you can have an extra marble. You got bite it off. Good boy. Right, where's the marbles? She deserved one because you're doing very, very well. Red one. Red one? Ethan Woods, when he came into the house, couldn't eat anything that wasn't sloppy. Where are we now on the morning of the final day? He ate a croissant and licked a strawberry. That's very, very good to see. Why the enormous progress? Is it because Dad was taken out of the building because of work and Mum was quite strict? I mean, why the extraordinary arc, if you like? I do think that Dad had a profound effect on Ethan's eating behaviour, more than Simon realised. But, you know, fair play to Simon. He's hardly been here at all this week, but he's really, really got into it. He's come home, he's caught up, he's prepared to accept, you know, his role in everything. Um, I think Sasha's really put her head down. This has been a real task-focused week for Sasha. Not a lot of emotion, but an awful lot of progress in terms of the, in terms of the eating. So... A child who had tried a number of different foods but never consistently enough, never been encouraged to bite or chew and always, after the slightest little whinge, given in and given his yoghurts. Sasha has said, and I think she's put it really well, that it's as if we have weaned her child rapidly over the last six days and I think that's exactly what we've done. We've taken him from a sort of six to ten month old up to a four year old. It back. Dylan and Owen Oakford are being looked after by Nina Morritt whilst they play on the sofa. Do not do that, I mean that is wrong, you are going to time out. No. At home, sole parent Tamara Oakford faced a daily battle to control her wildly disruptive sons seven-year-old Dylan and four-and-a-half-year-old Owen's aggressive behaviour. During an emotional week, Tanya has taught Mum how to use effective methods of discipline and with Tanya's help, she's seen the benefits of being more positive and having fun with them while setting clear boundaries. After a revealing consultation yesterday, Tanya discovered that Dylan blamed Owen's arrival as the cause of his father's departure from the family and could explain the sibling fights, which was a revelation for Mum tomorrow. Why do you get cross with Owen sometimes? Because he, um, because he was the one who made Daddy go away. Is that why sometimes you strangle him and punch him? Yeah. What? Look at me. Do you understand why you do not jump on Dylan? You do not hit each other. It is wrong. Now you're going to have to do a time oh, out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Get in there. I mean, I mean, I mean. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Do you understand why you came here? Was it because you hurt Dylan, you jumped on him? So regal. Give me a hug and a kiss. Good boy.
Tony has set the families a creative activity of decorating photograph frames to take home as a memento of their time in the house and is observing from her office. Right, should we do this? Look, right, watch. You're not doing glue. You're not doing the glue, Tyler, no, because you do it everywhere. I'll do the glue, then you can decorate. Lou, you're coming with me. Lou, sit down. Right, Tyler, come on then, do something. Just Lou, dear. Tyler, no, Lou, look, decorate. There's glue on there, you just need to put it down. Just stick them on. Right, Maisie can do it. Come, Moe. Look at what Mummy's got. Come and then put them on there. Tony is concerned that Nina is rapidly losing her patience and comes in to see her. You're looking a bit stressed. Yes, do my head and you can't do nothing with her. I tell you what, I think her behaviour is very affected by yours at the moment, so just been watching you. Not smile. Well, it's a bit hard when every time you're trying to do something. Me first, me first, me first, does it deserve? See? Look, you know, Nina, you've done it. Look, you've done it. Just do it. Come. Done. Right, Tony, you're done. You can turn this round. You can turn this behaviour around. Yeah, but she's been like this all day. And she's been difficult today. But well, that will happen. No, but she's, it's like this is how she is at home. Hold on a second. Let me just put this over here so this can dry. I can't even it Oh, look at those. No, relax. Not your mouth. I can't relax. Yes, you from can. Stress. Yeah, well then just... Tyler, Tyler, yes. put some of these on here. You can't just leave it glue. Just, just think about Tony boys, look on those. I have tried with her. Look, you're gonna... You're worried about leaving because it's the last day and you don't want to go and you're feeling emotional, but... No, I'm not. Listen to me. Thank you. Keep that face. <laughs> Keep that face. Me and you, yeah, we're going to do it together. Come, come to the sofa with me for one second. Can you just watch her for one second? Okay, hold off now. No, you're not! Tyler, stop screaming. Come here and sit down. Sit down. Oh, sit down. Must go away then. Sit down. Now listen, look. This is good because this is what you're going to have to deal with when you go home. Yeah, but this is... Stressful. Of course it is. Every two set me do it, me do it. Yes. She can't why? Bite. Okay, why? Because she is how old? Two and a half. What do two and a half year olds say when they've got lots of yeah. things in front of them? Yeah, they but watch... I can't do Maisie and Taylor at the same time with something like this. Listen to me, you are yeah. struggling with the thought of leaving here and saying goodbye to the house and saying goodbye to the others and saying goodbye to me. <laughs> you will be so fine. You will be so fine. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. <laughs> yes, you will. Yeah. Don't take it out on your girls, darling. Don't take it out on your girls. Do you want to come into the consultation with me? Yeah, okay, just for a second. Where are you going? I'm just going to have a little chat. Oh, it's not funny. What to do then? Yeah. Oh. Right, let me get my tissues. Move up, Move up, sweetheart. I don't think I can do it. I just don't feel strong enough to do it now. And what stopped you feeling strong? Because you felt so strong the last few days. Because I've had support. Very little over the last few days. I've done very little with you. Mm. Why don't you feel strong enough? What is it about today that is making you feel less strong? Because you've just got to go home in you and there's no one there. It's the first time you are going to do a leaving, an ending of a relationship in a way that you're in control of. something better, yeah. Yeah, but, but you're in control of it. You were not in control when your mum put you into no. care and you were not in control when the girl's father left you. No, yeah. It was done to you. Yeah. This is an ending which you knew was coming. Yeah. You knew that Friday was the end. But what started happening already today, I can see, is that you've started to use the girls... Mm. as, I suppose, the sort of whipping yeah. board for, for how you're feeling. Because yeah. you feel cross and angry and sad and hurt. Yeah. And they're being a bit naughty because they're yeah. little. 
and you're going, ah, yeah. and as soon as you do that, their behaviour goes yeah. straight up. Yeah. Is that one of yours? Yeah, tie it up. I think she needs you, does she need yeah, you? Big yeah. cuddle. Yeah. You see, she's now doing that because she knows there's something going on yeah, with you, so yeah. you need to go and help her. Yeah. Thank you. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> my girl. That's my girl. Go on. Yeah. You go and sort her out. Oh. But, all right, darling. I know. All finished now. We'll do more later. Uh, we've just took the <laughs> We're going to finish yeah. it. And we thought we'd tidy it up. Oh, baby. <laughs> Come on! Oh, what? Because yeah, I was nasty, that I? Because I took yeah. the glue. Should we away. wash that hand? Yeah. Should we? I'm so worried it was going to go on our clothes. Okay. We're all right, yeah? Yes. Yeah, we're, well, we're all right. Tomorrow, really Nina and looking yeah. after all the children, <laughs> while Sasha and Simon good. have their you final consultation so, with Talia. Um, the last day, yeah. obviously, and for me, it's a day to reflect on progress and to look at the process as well mm. um, how do you feel your boy has done he's done great really well really extraordinary well. Yeah. he's come on leaps and bounds hasn't he and he has enjoyed it here do you feel like you've achieved a lot both of you oh we have yeah and you also learn from the other parents as well yes it's not just your own experiences because you share them in there don't you yes yeah. what would you say was the first thing that you learnt to change about yourselves that had an impact on his eating? I came in with the opinion that it was 80% Eve and 20% us. Right. Maybe we could have been a bit stronger, but I still felt the problem was Ethan. Right. Uh, and after even just a day, a couple of days, the first day he actually sat there and had a, a bite of a crisp for you, that's, that's just done it for me. It's kind yeah, of turned it around like, altogether. Yeah. It, it wasn't, I wouldn't even say it was 20% Ethan. He was probably 95% us, 5% Ethan. We just didn't push him hard enough. You are just an incredibly loving father. You, you, adore, you adore him. I, I mean, do. And I see you, I, I watch you. Absolutely, and I watch you play with him, I watch you talk to him. But being loving also means being able to say no, which was hard for you. Yeah. And here's a nice example of it, just so you remember. This was Monday morning. Are you surprised when you tell me what you want for breakfast? Yeah. How many had? There is. How many? Oh! Four. You, you're quite uncomfortable watching that now, are you? Yeah, now. What I do you think? I can't believe I did it. Paddy? That was force feeding me. It's just so natural, isn't it? When you look at four. You know, it's no, when people used to say to us, like Nina said to us, didn't she? I does can't he really believe, eat yeah. all them yogurts? Yeah, we're like, yeah, he does because we've done it for so long. We don't think there's anything wrong with it. Mm. But when somebody asked us, it made you feel even worse that he was yeah. abnormal. Mm -hmm. But you just like, well, that's what he eats. There's nothing else. Mm. But looking back on that, you just think, that's that's horrible. That's really made you feel horrible, <laughs> yogurts, hasn't, hasn't it? it? Mm. I actually feel really bad inside. We didn't develop it enough or push him enough to do it. And that's, when it comes down to the responsibility, that's down to, to me and Sasha's parents. And it goes back a little bit to when Sasha was first pregnant and my feelings about, I didn't think I was ready to be a father in case I, I messed it up or I didn't get it right. And in a way, I do feel I've messed, messed it up a little bit. Oh, that's sad. That makes me feel Yeah, it makes me sad a little bit as well. But the good thing is we've, we've, we've stuck by our guns and we've managed to to sort of turn it around. Um, you said when um, Sasha got pregnant, I freaked out and thought, oh no, you know. Yeah, because I didn't feel I was ready, frightened of failing, failing as a parent. Yes, yes. The reason I'm, I'm, I'm sort of pleased that you bring that up is because it was the next clip I was going to show you. This was the moment when you talked about it. I, I wonder whether you feel that they are linked still for you. I think there is a lot of guilt there because because it was a complete shock that you were pregnant and it wasn't a good time for us when we when we found out. So there's a little bit of guilt there. What, on your... On your yeah. yeah on about your whether you'd stay? Well, if we were going to have him or not. Oh, whether to terminate? Yeah. Well, I knew I was going to. That was never an option. Right. It's never. But what was going on for you, Simon? I just didn't feel I was right and ready at the time. To be a dad? Yeah. We'd only been together, what, three, four months? 
four months, months, six months, yeah, something like that. I didn't feel I was, I was ready or capable of being a parent, and maybe this is where, where it all stems from. You're not comfortable watching that. No, because I know what he's just said. So mm. yeah, I know. But the thing is, we've been together like four Five years. years. I mean, yeah. I mean, you could have walked out and just said to her, <laughs> "You stayed. You've done the best you can for him, and more." I could have done better. You went. You followed me to the hospital. You went to the scans. I. I don't really see. Do you know what I mean? You you were there. Yeah, but it's just it's just the fact I actually had the thought in my head. Because that's not me. But why why wouldn't you have that reaction? If you're just getting on with your life, you've just met this beautiful woman, you're having a lovely time together, you're doing stuff, you're going out, you're falling in love, and then bang, suddenly out of the blue comes this news which hits you kind of from the side completely. Yeah. Why 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 wouldn't you momentarily have that reaction? Does that make you a bad person, or does it make you a person who... I think who... it does, in a way. Does it? I think it makes you a, a normal person, a person who went into shock and, yeah. then, and then sort of pulled himself together and thought, no, I want this, I want this more than anything. Yeah, but I think there's still a little bit of guilt that I actually, I actually had that thought. But you never forgave yourself, though? No. And by not forgiving yourself, do you think, to some degree, you overcompensated? That's probably led to which to then part led to of the this. Yeah. We've had. Yeah. And maybe why I'm so so protective of him. Yeah. But it it feels to me like you've got to be able to to forgive yourself. Otherwise, developmentally, in a few years, that might be another challenge where you're going to have to be tough with him, like you've been with the sleep, like you've been with the eating. The toughness side is it, that, that's that's something that won't change now. No. Uh, because we've seen results from it. Mm. So it's down to, to us as individuals to do it. And as far as I'm concerned, I was, I was doing what I needed to do mm -hmm. to rectify Ethan. And here was the first, the first big breakthrough moment. This, the restaurant. Oh, it was great. It really was. Fantastic. Love it. Right, just leave them to it, yeah? There, if I do this one. Just ate one whole chip. I'm so pleased. I really am. I need my teeth to bite it. Well done. Good boy. I mean, yeah. Took so long ago now. How, how many do you restaurants just, have we been to? But how do you describe that moment in terms of the milestones of his development? Is it like when he took his first steps or so yeah. his first, is it? Yeah, well, yeah. That was like probably when he was born, when he was first born. Brings tears to your eyes. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he did it so well, didn't he? Proud of him. So you should be. A really good week. I've had a lovely week with yeah. you. Yeah. I've had a we lovely week. We're going to go home and miss it. Well, I didn't <laughs> think I'd actually say that, but you do. And the great yeah. thing that we all know now is that when Ethan goes to school full time, he can eat lunch with the kids. He's not going to be different. Yeah. He no. can go to birthday parties. He's not going to be different. Yeah. And he's he's just going to be like any other kid. And yes. that is what you were worried about. So yes. for me, I, I feel really pleased about that. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure, an absolute pleasure. No, not really. Oh, sweet. What? Thank you. Oh, it was a big deal for you, Sash, wasn't she got it? You in the end. <laughs> Thank you. Couldn't have done it without you. The Woods have had an amazing week overcoming Ethan's eating problem, but before they go home, Tanya has encouraged Mum Sasha and Dad Simon to try and get Ethan to taste a range of more complex foods on one plate in the form of a Christmas dinner. It's the final hurdle for Ethan, but will he succeed? I'm not listening if you don't talk to me like that, Dylan. Mum, yeah? I don't know what you've got that. No, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you want six now, OK? You've done really well, haven't you? Right. Mom. Yeah, I think you might be Mom. better with a bit of that. Give yeah. that to Daddy, then. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Incredibly, Ethan has eaten every food on his plate, which is a major breakthrough, and he surprises his mum and dad further by asking for more. Ethan is still happily eating as Tanya joins the woods. Right, let's just have a little chat here. So we have, uh, is this our fourth helping of, of roast dinner? Yeah. Are you enjoying it? Yeah. When you came into the house, what did you used to eat all the time? Did you used to eat yogurt all the time? Yeah. Your son came into this house eating how many yogurts a week? Mm. 45, 50. Yeah. 50 yogurts a week. This is now his fourth helping of roast <laughs> dinner. Oh, wow. And he's just okay. trying everything. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I don't I'm not speechless very often, but I don't know what to say. I mean you probably you know the problem you're gonna have now. Before you couldn't get him to the table, now you're never gonna be able yeah. to get him away from the it's table. Cost us a fortune in food. Daddy. What? I'm finished. You finished. Oh wow! Well well done. Done. Yeah. Woo! The best Kiss. It's just finished. Wow. Flush from his success at lunchtime, Ethan heads for the mistletoe. While Maisie and Taylor play with the other children, Nina joins Tanya for her final consultation. Mm. Have you made progress this week? Yeah. How much? Definitely. Loads. 100% progress. Definitely. More than you expected? Yeah. Are you leaving with the same child? Not at all. No, I am. I am. But I'm leaving with a happy child. Is she leaving with the same mother? No. She's leaving with a happy mum. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember what it was like uh, before you came in? Do you remember what life was like? Horrible. Could do things with Maisie quite easily, but could never be bothered to do anything with Taylor other than sit down maybe next to her once in a while. Do you want to be reminded of how hard it was? Do you want to, do you want to see back to before you yeah. came into the house? Yeah. Yeah? OK, well, yeah. Ha have a look. Have a look. Yes! Taylor, get off. Taylor, get off. Oh, 
that was bad. That I remember that day. That was horrible. And it's strange because when I watch that, I know why she's like that. Do you know what, what I mean? Yeah. And when you looked at her like that before, you'd think she was naughty, she was yeah. difficult. I used to look at her. Hate's a strong word. But there was hatred in when I used to look at Tony when she was like that. But when you look at her now behaving like that, what do you see in her face and her behaviour? That she's behaving like that because she's upset and because she can see that Mummy's upset. I blamed everything on Taylor. She's naughty. She's a disgrace. She's embarrassing. When she's not, she's lovely. I'm proud of her, very, very proud of her. And she's going to have a different kind of relationship with yeah, her mother. Yeah, she is. But th yeah. Than you had. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So you're going to break the cycle. You're going to yeah, break the pattern. Yeah, yeah. So you're going to grow up with your girls being your friends. Yeah. And when they, when they yeah. have kids, you're going to be there yeah. to help them. Yeah, definitely. Well, they're definitely. lucky to have you as a mum, aren't they? Yeah, yeah they are. Good. Now they are. They wasn't before, but they are now. Good. Definitely. Good, mm. good. What was it about you that was impacting on their behaviour, do you think, that we... Because I was so upset and hurt and been let down so much in the past. And how was that, that showing itself? In blaming Taylor for everything. So lots of negative interaction. Yeah, really, yeah loads really of negative. negative. Yeah. Do you want to be reminded of that, just so that you can really, yeah, really catch then. yourself if it happens again? OK, here we go. <laughs> you skank. Huh? You don't pick food up off the floor and put it in your mouth. You're not normal, Maisie. I was looking at you, shall I tell you why? No. Because you're up at four o'clock in the morning and I ain't very happy with you. <laughs> I believe I my daughter's gang. I have done that quite a lot. Mm. It's funny mm. how I do that. Call them names. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And blame them. Mm. You blame them for getting up at four in the morning. Yeah, when I actually got them up. When you got them up, yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. What do you, I mean, you were laughing when you were looking at that, but what do you think about that now? Do you recognise that person? Yeah, but that person ain't coming back. Is there a risk that she could pop up from time to time? Yeah, but not pop up in front of my kids. No way. I'm not calling my kids' names anymore, no way. Because that will affect them in later life. If I'm calling them a skank, I'm sorry, they're going to grow up thinking they're a skank. I agree with you. I was called worthless, so I grew up thinking I was worthless. It, it does happen. It ain't happening to my kids, I'm sorry. No way. I believe you. Not at all. I believe you. One of the things we did together this week was learn how to play. Mm-hmm. And the first time I introduced the concept of play to you, you were like, no way. Yeah. I can't do it. What do I do? How do I do it? Play? I don't mm. play. I don't do playing. Mm. So I said, fine, well, let's go and play then. Yeah. And for me, it was a really interesting... Um, experience um, and I want you to watch it because there's something about this that I really want you to take home with you okay what we see yeah, happening here yeah. is that the baby blanket yes. can you hear you've got to kind of push it up a bit does that feel really hard <laughs> yeah why like <laughs> well you're a mum and they're little girls aren't they are you gonna eat some cheese no <gasps> Why not? You like cheese. Here you go. Maisie eat some cheese. Come on then, let's eat some sandwich. Yeah. Tay, do a funny face. Do you do a funny face? <laughs> <laughs> do Nana Nana. Nana. Nana, Nana. <laughs> oh, she's just... She looks well happy there, doesn't she? She's got the She's best. She's so funny. Why is she happy? She's got the best thing in the world in front of her. Yeah. Who? Yeah. Who's that? Her mum. She adores you. She yeah. adores you. And she's been screaming at you to try and get you to yeah. notice her, I think, yeah. for all this time. It's just strange to see, because I never thought I could do it. Mm. And Taylor, at the end, which she, her face, she was beaming. She was happy. It's nice to see, because I haven't seen it for such a long time. Do you know what I mean? Well, I thought I've had, but I haven't. Whereas this week, I have seen a happy child. And it's strange. Do you feel different? Inside yourself? Yeah. Tell, tell me tell me what the difference is between Nina I was talking to on Sunday and Monday yeah. and Nina I'm talking to here on Friday. I'm stronger, a lot stronger. More confident. Where do you feel that? In my heart. In your heart? Yeah, yeah, definitely. 
What does it feel like in your heart? Because your heart was breaking when you came in on Sunday. It was. It don't feel like that anymore. That 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 feeling's just sort of gone. It's strange because I never ever thought it would, but it's still sort of gone. What feeling is it? What was it? Was it was like an aching pain. It was horrible, but it ain't there anymore at all. A little bit of it is still is because there's still a lot of work I've got to do personally with my past. But the big part of it has gone because me and Taylor have got a relationship and I love being a mum now. I love it. <gasps> I really, really love it. It's happy. It's, it's nice. It's happy. Mm. I love it. I love being a family with my children. Is this the first time you've ever really felt love? Yeah. Yeah. Because I've never really known what love is. My mum said she loved me, but I didn't feel loved. You've got a lot of capacity, you've got a lot of intelligence, mm. you learn really fast, mm. you've got a strong will when you find it. Mm. Don't let other people dictate the success or failure of your life. No, but we have to now say goodbye to each other. Mm. Thank you. Thank you so much. Here. Thank you. I've oh, got so much respect for you, it's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Just thank you for saving me and my daughter. What did you say? What did you say? Thank you for saving me and my daughter, helping me to save a relationship because without you it could have gone so wrong. <sighs> While Dylan decides to wrap up his brother Owen... Oh, wait, wait! You are not allowed to move! Tanya has asked their mum tomorrow to join her for the final consultation of the week. Oh, oh. Don't want to say goodbye. No. <gasps> been dreading this? A lot. <laughs> Tell me why. What the tears about? Yes, we are. I'm so proud of them. The change. You can't believe it? No, I can't. Are you quite shocked? Yeah, I am. Very. <laughs> this has been quite a week for you, hasn't it? And you've been holding it all together. And now it's just going to be like a big wave. So why don't we spend some time looking at everything you've done? Yeah. Nailing it down one by one by one, yeah? Yep. Yeah. And why don't we start with where you started? <laughs> yeah? Yep. Yeah. Okay, this is before you arrived, okay? to see that and to see what they're behaving like now. Mm -hmm. They're not the same. Let me sit over here because I can talk to you better. Yeah. Okay. Tell me. Tell me what's different. They're just not violent. They're not. To me now, they're just being a bit boisterous when they do. There's not that element in me of fear of what they're going to do. It's I can sort of contain what's happening and it doesn't progress to anything more violent. Mm. So what's made the difference? Me. In what way? Setting the boundary and sticking to it and not changing it. Mm. Now, I showed you on the first day what we needed to do, but I think even more powerful than that was this. I want you just to remember this moment because I think this was a key, for you, it was a key point when things started to really change. Here's the last one I want to show you for two reasons and it's important you watch this carefully and it's not very nice so I want you to see what happened and I want you to tell me how you feel in your tummies when you see what happened, okay? When you see yourself strangling him, 
What does it make you feel it inside? It makes me feel bad. It makes you feel bad. Are you feeling bad now, darling? Yeah. Yeah, you don't like seeing yourself do that? No. Do you think Mummy likes it? What does Mummy need to do for you two to stop strangling each other and hitting each other? Take us to our room more often. Do you remember watching that? Yeah, I did. That was on Monday. Was it Monday? Yeah. It really shocked you right to the core, didn't it? It did. For him to say that he felt sad and bad, it was sort of, well, why does he do it? But it was because I couldn't set a boundary and say no that he was doing it. What really struck me about that when he was sitting there was that he, he was genuinely, genuinely upset by what he saw. He, he was. He could not believe what he was seeing at all. Mm. And the first thing I taught you was time out. And the reason I taught you time out early on was because I was concerned that their aggression might spill over to other children. Yeah. So just watch yourself doing a time out because I have to say I think you do them really well. Watch. And you should think about what you've done. You shouldn't hit, should you? Sorry. What'd you say? Sorry. No, say it nicely. Sorry. So you broke one of our rules, though, what? didn't you? What was our rule? Look. Kiss, hug, but cut the kiss out. Come on. Oi. All right. Look up. Are you going to say sorry? Okay. Go on. You're finding it really emotional to watch all this, aren't you? Tell me, tell me, because I think it, the, the, how you connect with it emotionally is how you will succeed when you leave. It's scary that I couldn't show him. Show him? Affection. What scares you the most? That I'll lose that affection again. And do you think there's a chance that'll happen? Not if I continue the way I am now. If I go back to my old ways, then I will. Mm. And I don't want to. Because if you go back to your old ways, which is being much more cut off and distant from him, he'll just come banging at the door again with his behaviour. Let me in, let me yeah. in. Because he knows he can get a response from you by beating his brother up. So that's what, that's what you'll get. Is it breaking your heart? Breaking your heart. But I think it, part of this has really broken your heart because I think you've, you've, suddenly re real, you've suddenly seen your little boy in a different way. And I, I wonder whether you feel you've just mis misjudged him. And, and I have and, totally. Yeah. Up to now, I thought he was a horrible little child. And there were times I didn't want him near me. And now I think, how could I ever thought that about him? Because what kind of child do you see him as? A loving, affectionate... He's got a little heart of gold, really. Mm -hmm. Have a look at this. Have a look at this. Are you going to try and be a good boy tomorrow? And what aren't you going to do? What aren't you going to do? Um, fight. Yeah, and what else? Um, pants. Yep. Follow the rules. That's right, well done. I'll be really proud of you if you follow the rules and you don't fight, don't punch. Do you think you can do that for Mummy? Yeah. That is affection. That is love. There is such a bond there. Look at the two of you. Yeah. He's yeah. never been like that. The only time he's been like that is since we've been in the house. And why? Why is that? Because I've been strict. I've set the boundaries. And he's trying his best at the moment to keep within them. A couple of times he's straying over, but that's expected in just a week of being strict. And also he's seven. He's going to do it sometimes, isn't he? Yeah. But what else do you think has improved the bond between the two of you? Me spending time with him, doing things with him. Whereas a lot of time... I'd sort of try and push him away and do my own thing and not involve him. Mm. I think what's lovely about him for me is he is a very sensitive little boy. Mm. Very, very sensitive little boy who needs a lot of reassurance. 
and a lot of care and a lot of love and a lot of affection. But if he feels any kind of rejection, he gets freaked by it and he just withdraws. Mm. And what child does that remind you of? Me. Maybe in a little boy version. Mm. He's just like his mum. So then, yesterday, I said, right, you're going out. And you freaked. You, at first you were Did. like, oh, I can't do it, I can't do it. Oh, no, 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 no. Give me one word to describe your boy's behaviour. Perfect. I mean, completely <laughs> perfect. Do you want to have a little mm. memory of it? It was absolutely brilliant. And you were brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Look, I can see that one. Where's that one? There. Oh, yeah, yeah well yes. spotted. Well done. Does it echo if you put your head in it and say hello? Hello! <gasps> Look at these statues. What can you see? Is there any rudy ladies, Dylan? Yeah, they love to. Oh, there is a rudy lady. Please leave it alone now and come with me. Okay. Well done. Good boy, you are listening. There you go. Give us a kiss. Well done. I've got six. Kiss. I've got seven. Well done. You've done it. And I think you made your eldest boy very happy. He's, he asked you for it and you delivered. And I think he is just, he's made up actually. And he's kissing you and he's cuddling you and he's telling you he loves you. Yeah, whereas before, just before coming in here, he was clinging to my leg. Normally he would only ever do that in an aggressive way. And I didn't feel that was aggressive or no. threatening at all. It was, mummy, don't go, stay with me. The bond between the two of you, because you're so similar now, that you've discovered each other in this house, is immense. It's huge. I think it's almost like you and he really understand each other, because you know what he feels like when he's feeling it, and he knows what you feel like when you're feeling it, because he knows he's very like you and you're very like him. And he's my biggest friend now. But he wasn't when you came in. No, he wasn't. He was big, our biggest foe. Yeah, he was. He was. What I will say to you is that when you go home it probably will all go a bit go a bit haywire for a while and um, in your moments of doubt when you've had a difficult day with them and you've um, and you've struggled with them then you can watch your video which is when they made a little film for you didn't they telling you how much they loved you oh come here i have to give you a big cuddle now i can't be all doctory anymore <laughs> You should be very, very proud of yourself. Very proud of yourself. Because I don't think you thought you had it in you, did you? No, I don't think I did. <laughs> well, you did. Just remember how we started and where we started. I think you are just at the right time, particularly after yesterday's outing, to get out there now and show the world what you've done. Yeah. As their journeys in the house come to an end, it's time for our families to say goodbye to each other. Say goodbye. 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 Are we ready? Bye, Bye everybody. Bye. Come, on, Bye. Then, Bye. Come on then, sweet. Come on, sweet. Come on then. So, right. you came in with a little boy who only ate yogurt, and you're leaving yes. with a boy who can't stop eating everything put in front of him. You have done fantastically this week, and good luck with everything in the future. Bye bye, darling. You clever boy. The Woods are on their way home. Do you have any worries for them? I don't have any worries for them because I think Ethan is so completely on his way. I think that they have to continue to work together. Simon has always been the soft touch. He loves his boys so much, he, he will give in for anything. But I really have seen a change in both of them and I think what they've learnt this week is actually loving your child and setting a boundary are not conflicting issues. And Ethan has grown up hugely this week. Up to leave. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a very enjoyable stay. 
Ethan, did you like it here? Yeah. I'm yeah. so proud of him. And a big thank you to, uh, to Tanya. Go and give him a kiss. Bye-bye. Mm. Bye-bye. So, little Dylan. Yeah? When you came into this house, what did you do a lot of? Fighting. And what don't you do anymore? Fighting. And what do you like doing with your mummy? Hugging. Hugging. You've been a brilliant boy. Come and shake my hand. And you're a very good boy as well, aren't you? Bye-bye, darling. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well done. You have made me very proud. The Oakfords are leaving the house. Do you have any worries? I think going home will be testing for Tamara because they're going back to the environment where Dylan is in charge. Mm -hmm. Also, because Tamara parents alone, but um, the boy's father's very involved, um, it's very important for her to be able to find a way of communicating to her ex exactly what has worked for the boys. But I feel very confident because I can see Tamara's confidence. And I think the thing that I feel the most happy about is the bond and the love and the affection that is so freely flowing between Dylan and his mother. That, for me, is just absolutely top. You had fun this week? Yes, I have. Do you love your mummy lots now? Yeah. So thank you. Um, thank you. So goodbye. Goodbye. Bye, Joanna. Bye-bye, sweetie! Bye-bye. Oh, dear. Hard yeah. to say goodbye. Yeah. Brilliant week. Brilliant woman. I think you've even done better than you thought you would. And you've got your girls. And they've got you, and how lucky are they? Well, nice, lady, bye. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to take Mummy's hand, then? then? Go and see the sandpit and the bears and say goodbye? You're going to go that then. way? Bye-bye, darling. See you later, honey. Nina Morritt and her daughters are on their way home. They came in a sort of broken family. Mm. Could that happen again? No, I think Nina is extraordinary. I think she's learnt a lot this week and I think she needs to go home, although she's frightened to, she needs to go home just to recognise how much she has achieved. But I think she's learnt that she is an effective mother. She's learnt how much she loves her daughters. But most of all, I think she's learnt that she is a, a woman, person of a, a huge person. amount of worth. And that, for me, has been the most enjoyable part of my time with her. Yeah, just really to say thank you ever so much for all your help and time and effort you've put in. It means a lot. Done it, Tay. We, um, Tay has now got her mummy back and I've got my daughter back, so we've really, really benefited. Do you want to say bye, Taylor? Thank you. Say thank you. Say bye. Give mummy a kiss. Bye. Bye-bye, girls. Wave. Not only is it the end of an emotional week for our three families, it's the end of a series full of tantrums, tears and tearaways. Have Dylan and Owen gone back to their old ways or has Tamara managed to keep up the discipline? Things have changed really dramatically since we've been out of the house. They're like new kids, they're not the old children anymore. You can see both of them are happier, they're more content. They are very boisterous still. <laughs> they are still very energetic. But to me now, they're normal kids. You can see the pair of them, they actually want to be together and play. It's not just be together and fight. Which is a total change. Dylan now knows the boundaries. He'll push it. Yes, what'd you say? Sorry. Right. He's responding so well to me being strict and stern with him. That's amazing. Nice. Oh. The future now just is such a fantastic prospect. I feel stronger happier, more peaceful in the house. <laughs> After Ethan's huge improvement in the house, have Sasha and Simon been able to keep him on track? Are you hungry? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It's been like a dream come true. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's go. go here. Yeah. Does it look yummy? Yeah? From a boy who just sits and eats yoghurt. Uh, to somebody who will actually sit there and eat a full meal with us, I think is absolutely amazing. Is it yummy? Yeah. It's all small steps. A little step today and a little step tomorrow means we're getting that little bit closer to where we need to get into. And it's made him happier, it's made us happier, isn't it? Yeah. 
Having returned home to Hastings, will Nina be able to continue to build on her new relationship with Taylor? Before I went on this program, me and Taylor had no relationship at all, and it did get to the point where I thought, phone up social services, get her taken away. I feel awful now that I actually f felt like that about Taylor, because she's such an amazing child. But it's nice to say that I'm never, ever going to feel like that again. When I used to get up in the morning, the first thing I used to do was shout at the kids, because I used to think that was really, really bad and naughty. But now it feels like a dream because we're getting on so well and there's honestly been not one problem since I've been back but then it is all to do with me because I'm not stressed anymore. We get on well, we cuddle each other, we kiss each other goodnight, we go to the swings, we play hide and seek, we do drawing together, we sing. It's just amazing. It's fun now playing with them. Whereas before I felt like, well I didn't really do it. And when I did do it I felt like I had to do it. The future's bright, yeah. I'm really looking forward to the rest of our lives together because I've got my baby back.